Snowy scenes. It's uh, an entirely appropriate thing to see, actually, because uh, we're talking about Christmas cards this morning. It's mm. that time of year, isn't it? People, you might have a pile of them to write at home. Uh, but are you sending as many as you used to? Well, the commercial Christmas card was first introduced in the 1800s, and it became a tradition since the mid-19th century. Last year, though, 10 million fewer cards were sent compared to the previous year. It's a big number. It is. Still waiting for yours. In a moment, we'll speak to two people who have uh, different views on sending Christmas cards, so have we. Uh, but first, we've been asking for some of your thoughts. Here they are. I don't send as many because I think the cost of postage is quite prohibitive. In Germany, they're quite important. Um, and we still sent them. It's a way of keeping in touch with um, friends, relatives, um, people that we might not see. Personally, I won't be sending any Christmas cards this year, but I will be sending out loads of lovely seasonal greetings to all of my friends and family. I think to like close friends and family I'll be sending them, probably not as much as I probably did when I was younger. Sometimes the notes that are inside it, you know, what somebody's written about what's gone on in their life during the year or whatever. My mum puts them on, but no. I send a few, but not, not too many. Quite important to us, we've got people all around, we're not local, so people are generally all around the... Uh, uh, all around the country, so yeah, we've sent them out already. So she's thinking, if I've waved at the camera, I don't have to send you a Christmas card. She had a brilliant wave, though, because different fingers, I, I was quite mesmerised <laughs> by that. Some mixed opinions there, then. Let's uh, speak further on this. Sharon Little is the CEO of the Greeting Card Association. I think we can guess. Hello, good morning. Hello. Welcome <laughs> to you. And uh, we're also joined from London by journalist Liat Hughes uh, Joshi as well. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for talking. Uh, let's speak to you in the studio first, uh, Sharon. Um, you say we're sending, we're still sending cards. We're sending, Fewer, we're, but go, we're going to send over a billion Christmas cards this year. In the UK? In the UK. We love greeting cards in this country. How does that compare then to previous years? Well, um, actually, the value of the whole greeting card industry has gone up to 1.7 no, billion But that's inflation cards. and that's just a fact of life. What about <laughs> no, the number of cards we send? The number of cards, the number of Christmas cards is dipping ever so slightly, but the value of Bye. those cards is going up. We measure the value of single cards, so that's cards that are sold individually as opposed to cards that are sold in boxes. That's decreased by about 10 million, but overall, we're still going to send over a billion cards this Which year. Is I'm going to get the answer from you. A billion, but which is billion. how many fewer than recent years overall? Approximately 10 million fewer. That's single cards? Single cards. But overall, the boxes? Overall, we, we send about a billion Christmas cards. Let's ask Leah how many she sent. <laughs> um, are you sending them and how many? I, I send fewer and fewer each year, and I think in this digital age, they are starting to become less important. Um, and I'm dreading my Christmas cards arriving because I only I only reply to the ones I receive now I don't have a list anymore of people like I used to do years ago before Facebook and other ways to keep in touch have uh, taken they've taken over a little bit for, for many of us I think Leah why do you dread them ar arriving just because you think you, you you receive therefore you have to give exactly I mean obviously with a few people who I don't keep in touch with so much in other ways, perhaps because they're not on something like Facebook or I'm not in email contact with them, it's quite nice to hear from them. But with people that I speak to anyway all year, I just think, well, what was the point? They're just scrawling, happy Christmas, love from. Uh, and, and I've spoken to them all year and I'll probably see them at Christmas anyway. Sharon, a few people are saying that. We've had loads of comments on this. Um... Uh, Janet says, I stopped sending cards a year, years ago. It's just paying for money for something you throw in the bin. Uh, Ali says, uh, like Liat says, it became a chore and not a pleasure. I mean, the days That's of cards, physical cards, are surely numbered, aren't That's they? That's such a shame, because I think if you really want to show that you care about people, you send them a card. You're going to say and that, it's actually, it's your actually, association. Well, no, because it's actually been scientifically shown that receiving cards is good for you. It actually produces all these fantastic, happy chemicals in the brain. You get equally, that from a text, Obviously, yeah. not you? through your other... You certainly <laughs> no, don't. No, the research has shown. Equally, people will say that from a phone 
phone call or a text message or a message on social media. No, it just shows that someone's <laughs> thinking about you. I, I don't agree because the card is there on your mantelpiece. You can't put an email or a text on your mantelpiece. It's there representing that person in the room well after they've sent it. We should declare our position. Yeah, you see, our, we, we as a family, we still send to a few people, mainly abroad people we don't see very often, but we don't send to everybody like we used to. Do you send cards at all? Yeah, we do send cards, but not as many. But you, you love it, do you? No, no, no one enjoys <laughs> knowing they have to write all the cards out. It does, I agree with Ali, it does feel a bit of a chore. But I do believe, I do send Christmas cards every year to all my friends. And a lot of them don't send any back. I don't mind about that. But they, Nearly they, all your they, friends. Nearly all your friends. To my friends. Um, oh! <laughs> but they, they enjoy receiving them. And it kind of shows that you're thinking of someone. So that's my reasoning for um, sending Christmas cards. Have we got Leah? Can we speak to her? Because we're having a few technical problems. Leah, how, how are you doing there? Can we, can we see if we can hear you? We're having a few technical problems with your that's microphone. Okay. That's OK. It Brilliant. did just fall out, but We've I can just you. about hear you. We've got you. So how do your friends feel? Because like, we were just making the point. Perhaps if you send a card, it just shows you're thinking of them and you've spent that little bit of extra time and mm. your effort to send mm. a card. It's, and you have it on the mantelpiece or wherever. And it's physical rather than you know, having to look back on a, a social media message. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I, maybe some of my friends think I'm a bit rude now for not sending them cards anymore. Um, but, you know, I see good friends and, um, you know, I'd rather send them a longer email than a, a quickly scrawled, uh, a quickly scrawled Christmas card. And I'd rather, I'd rather keep in touch with them all year, actually, if they're true friends or family that are important to me. I'm interested. In, in, in her old age, when she's looking back through her life, and um, uh, there won't be any letters to read back on, there won't be any cards which oh, have shown you that know what? I think that's, that's a bit of a sad situation. I tell you what, it's a brave thing to predict the end of someone's life <laughs> on this television programme. Leah, thank you very much. Sharon, thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Yeah, indeed. Headlines are next. We'll see you soon.